Uh, the new ping pong table showed up. And this is a Jula tournament table. It's basically the same kind they use, you know, if you want to have a tournament. A little on the expensive side, but hey, you know, that's the way I roll. So anyway, they also offer me this little thing here. This is a service robot. And, and what it does is it, yeah, it spits out balls and then right. Sally can, okay, so I want to try it? Okay, so it, this is the control here. We're going to turn it on. Oh, here it comes. Ready? Get ready. Come on, Sally. Sally, what's up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sally, not like that. Come on. Sally. Okay. All right. Let's just try and get it back. Oh, there you go, Sally. Just, there you go. Yeah. I just got to kind of go all over the place, but yeah. Oops. Yeah. We did like Sally, Come on, Sally. Pay attention, Sally. Oops. What is that? No, I, like, it doesn't always go to the same spot. But, uh, you know, I can see why it was, they offered it as an additional bonus because it, that service robot is not, it's not that good. It doesn't spit up the ball very fast and uh, it's inconsistent. But I suppose, you know, it's whatever. It was cheap enough. Yeah. Sally enjoys it. She'll be picking a lot of ping pong balls, however. Sally, <laughs> 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 come on. Come on, Sally, come on. Man, Sally, you're all over the place, Sally. Sally, you're all over the place, Sally. Oh, that's about 98 balls. Now you're going to have fun picking them up afterward. There you go, see? You can adjust the uh, oscillation, the top spin and the back spin with the remote. And that's it, Sally. So pick up all the balls all over the place. What a mess. Oh, well, I gotta turn it off. Yay. Anyway, so uh, that's the iPod. Oh, it's, it's weird. <laughs> so, you know, we're gonna do a little tennis tournament at, at home soon. How do I get practice and get good at it? A lot of fun, a lot of fun. Uh, looking forward to uh, playing some ping pong. As for that, as for that service, that service ball machine, eh, it, it's not accurate, but oh well. Looking forward to playing some ping pong. I know that Oscar is a pretty good player, so uh, we're gonna get into some matches and another way for me to work out, because uh, honestly, uh, that little trainer that I got, it's staying on that thing for one hour, it's pretty boring. Pretty boy. <laughs> anyway, on to today's episode. And the reason I'm holding this is, you may have noticed uh, yesterday on my uh, my driving part of my .com livestream episode, you may have noticed that the audio wasn't that great. And the reason for that was because, well, I, I, I messed up on, on the sound. And I want to share this with you because I don't want you to make the same mistake. Now, when I'm filming, uh, in the car, I usually always use the Zoom H1 because of the high noise floor inside the car when driving, you got all these kind of noise and stuff. So what I do is I use the Zoom H1 and I combine it with a lavalier mic. And how it works is the lavalier is clipped onto me right here. So it's very, very close to my mouth. And because it's so close, I can talk at a normal voice and it still hear me because it's that close. See, normally, with a regular camera setup or regular vlog setup, they, they, you're holding the camera like, like this and the camera is like four feet away from you. The mic is four feet away from you. So therefore, either you speak very, very loud, but a lot of people don't do that. So what the camera manufacturers know, know this. They know that when you're filming, you're going to be like four feet away. So what they do is on the microphone, on the camera, they increase the sensitivity so we can pick up your voice. Uh, the problem is when you increase the levels, you also increase the background noise and all the noise in the background, tire noise, road noise, that kind of stuff, right? So by using a lavalier mic, because it's this close, I can talk normal. And in fact, because it's so close, even normal voice is probably louder than it should be. That allows me to lower the levels on this 
so it sounds like normal, but when you lower the level, it also drops the background noise of all the all the all the things around you, and that's why you that's how come when you see most of my driving video, you can even though I have the top down and the windows down in the car, uh, you can still hear me. And this is this is why this is the setup. Now, uh, what happened yesterday was uh, now this is Zoom H1, and I recommend everyone get a Zoom H1 because it's it's fantastic. This is Zoom H1. This is the mic lavalier input. So you plug the lavalier mic into there. And on this other side, it's an input for headphones. So you can monitor, monitor you know, your, your voice and stuff. I normally never use this because I don't monitor, I don't hook up headphones. Uh, what I did was, well, instead of plugging in the lavalier to the headphone, I mean to the, to the mic input, you guessed it, I plugged the lavalier into the headphone input so even though I so I was speaking as long as I want nothing because wrong input so as a result these mics were on and this was just sitting on the seat so because it's sitting on the seat uh, it was further away that's how that's how why it sounded so muffled I, I didn't know because I'm, I, I thought it was gonna be you know like that no problem but and after it was after uh, after I went to editing I, I figured how come it sounds so bad and then I looked at it and go, oh, yeah, really, really bad. So make sure, <laughs> make sure you plug it into the mic input. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. 